to play? She should be here by now, David. I'm getting worried. Sorry, dear. What were you saying? I can't play with you now. I want to read my book. I said I'm worried about my sister Julie. She should have been here by now. She'll be along. She's going to stay for a week. What's the hurry? What are you saying? You've always liked my sister. <laughs> of course. She lights up my life. In fact, we need a new candle. Want me to get another? Huh? No, thanks. I've got one here. Oh, sorry. Was that your tail? What's your sister coming for? Just a visit? Oh, she wants to attend the ceremony when her grandson gets his copy of the secret book of the gnomes. Good. Here she is now. Coming. The original seven volumes of the secret book of the gnomes is guarded carefully by the court. Every household has a copy of it, so when a boy reaches the age of 75, he receives his copy in a very special ceremony. <laughs> Do you promise to keep this book a secret? I promise. <laughs> it's a very useful book to have around. It contains a history of the gnomes for the past 3,000 years and some excellent recipes for cooking eggplant. <laughs> David? Julie! Hello. Here she is. Oh, I'm so glad to see you again. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I'm sorry. I must be losing my grip. Uh, oh, it was nothing at all. Come and sit down. Thank you. You're reading our secret book. I was just looking up the 43 ways to cure hiccups. David, Julie says she's brought you a present. Oh, yeah. oh, I think you're going to like oh. it. Oh, you shouldn't have done it, Julie. Oh, look at this, a scalpel. But where did this come from? My husband brought it from Tibet. Mm, you know, north of India. He thought you'd like it. It's from the Himalayas. This knife came from the Himalayas? Yes, that's right, uh, from the mountains. That's it. That's where it must be now. This is the original that this one was copied from. You mean there's a picture of it in there? Yes, this is a copy of that magical scalpel that used to belong to my family for many generations. Have you still got it? Let me see it. No, someone stole it many years ago. But thanks to you, I now know the original is in the Himalayas. You're not going there. Just to get your knife back? <laughs> I'm on my way. Look, Swift, Mount Everest and Annapurna. We'll visit Pundit Do Re. What was that? The snow is too heavy for the trees. with <laughs> do Ray's retreat is up that way what we need is a guide Al Habib will help us you'll like Habib Swift he acts as a lookout for my friend Pundit do Ray. greetings Habib you put on a little weight haven't you I'm kidding you're looking swell I'd like you to meet my friend Swift we're hoping you'll take us to see your master. Habib, Swift. Swift, Habib. Let's be on our way. Yeah. Lead the way, Habib. You 
come in too, Swift. for you, David. Your visit gives me great pleasure. You're looking well. You haven't changed a bit. I've come to seek the benefit of your profound wisdom. I'm in search of something that was stolen. Mm. Now, what is this object? A magic scalpel that belonged to my ancestors. And have you any clue as to where this wonderful knife might be? I have a copy of it that was made in the Himalayas, so it must be here. Uh. Anything I can to help you in your quest. But first, I'll show you my magic mirrors. Oh, oh. They were made many years ago from highly polished rock crystal mined here in the high Himalayas. frightened swift you're just seeing yourself you can see a lot of faces because there are a lot of mirrors <laughs> my ancestors built all these mirrors more than five centuries ago they can tell us many wonderful things they're incredible magnificent what's this one for right there uh, this mirror will show us what is happening at this moment in any part of the world oh even in my home of course Go ahead, just look in there. I don't see anything but my own reflection. A little patience, please. You have to give it time to warm up. Look now. I don't mind my wife's sister using my bathroom, but she better keep her cotton-picking hands off my favorite back brush. No, oh, that's a problem you'll have to solve by yourself, David. I suppose. Now we'll use the mirror that will show us scenes from the past. I want to know where the original scalpel is and who stole it. Keep your shirt on, David, and come over to the mirror. Now, put your scalpel slowly right in the mirror. No. Now that the mirror sees your copy, it will tell us where the real scalpel is. of your ancestors is in that temple. How could it possibly have gotten into the temple of Mekong? Nobody has been inside it for more than a thousand years. It's abandoned. Well, somebody took it there. But who? I'm sorry, but my mirrors never reveal names. I've got a no map here that'll show me how to get to the temple of Mekong. But it looks as if there's a river to cross. <laughs> and I've noticed you don't go in much for bridges around here. 
But I'm sure I'll find my scalpel and the thief that took it thanks to you. Uh, don't mention it, my dear David. Uh, goodbye and good luck, David. Drop in any time. Thanks a million, Pundit. So long. <laughs> Pretty hot, huh, Swift? That current's too strong for you to swim across. Try jumping from stone to stone. Just one more jump and we'll be on the other side. Please excuse us, Hippopotamus. We thought you were a rock. Will you take us to the other side? You must be here on your vacation. Don't you live in Africa? Thank you, Happy Hippo, and have a happy holiday. India needs more tourists like you. Don't miss the Taj Mahal. Let's go, Swift, over that way. Slow down, Swift. We're almost there. We better watch out. <gasps> Calm down, Swift. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a stone carving of a face. It was probably part of an ancient temple. Off we go. That's the temple of Mekong. <sighs> you wait here, Swift. I don't think this will take very long. <clears throat> Magnificent. This must have been beautiful. sees me. Now I know why it's so hot in here. The temple is built right on top of a volcano. <laughs> oh, it's hollering. You've come to look for the magic scalpel of your ancestors, huh, David? Well, I've got it, and you'll never get it. Holler, give it back to me. I'm a doctor, and I need it. No, you don't, because you'll never get out of here alive. Look around you, David. I've invited some old friends to welcome you. Huh? Oh, they're spiders. <laughs> Give me that scalpel. Now, I wonder why you're so anxious to get it back. Because in my hands, it could relieve suffering and save a lot of lives. <laughs> you're going to regret this, Holler. I promise you. Listen, David. You're a doctor, so you must know that the venom of spiders can kill a gnome in seconds. <laughs> you haven't won yet, Holler. <laughs> I might have known this is the kind of friends you have. Whoa. Ha ha, missed me. Wish I 
wish I had a parachute. It's gonna break. Uh, hey! They're coming from everywhere. Good, a rope. That's what you think. They'll get you wherever you are. Here's mud in your eye. I hate you, David. I hate you. I hate you, David. I hate you, David. I hate you. That's the last time you'll laugh at me, you pesky gnome. Come on over here and say that, I dare you. I have the scalpel of my ancestors. Swift, and I got the magic scalpel back. 
Let's go, Swift! No, Swift. Wait for me to get off. <laughs> Sorry, Swift. That was just some of my sneezing powder. <laughs> Schlitzbites!